Well, I was working at the East Orange High School at the time, and we found six young people cutting class, and um, they started to run away from me, and I told them, you can't outrun my pencil, so they might as well come back. I called them by name. And um, as I was talking with them and trying to encourage them to remain in school, an airplane flew over, and I decided, why not teach them how to fly? They can do that after school. Because I'd been surveying my skills, perhaps there was something I could do to help motivate these youngsters to get the education that they need and get them to understand that they had to have some type of skills in order to make a living. And an airplane flew over and I said, how would you like to learn how to fly? And the young man said, I can do that. I said, of course you can. You're a pilot already. All you have to do is put in the time and the sacrifice. And uh, another youngster said, well, can you teach me how to fly? I said, certainly. He said, when? I said, today. Meet me after school. And my big mouth got me in trouble because I didn't know anyone. I didn't have any money. I didn't uh, have an airplane. And for I would and just as an aside, anyone who's going to start an aviation program, you're talking about aerospace. You better have an airplane somewhere if you want to motivate these kids and keep them and keep them motivated. So anyway, I called up uh, Morristown Airport, and a friend up there who became my friend, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Fred Heitman. I explained to them what the problem was, what I needed, and what kind of help I needed. They said, bring those kids out to the airport. We went out to the airport, to make a long story short, we had them up in the airplane, brought them back, and uh, all the way home, the only thing you heard from them was, oh, wow. Oh, wow. What would you say, man? Oh, wow. I said, that was quite an experience, wasn't it? Oh, wow. You know? I said, well, let's get ourselves organized.